All right, Shalom. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Harakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who teach and rule well, and peace and salutation to the elect. Um, this lesson is basically going to be on how um, two thirds of our people are no different than this image in which you see of uh, Stephen from the movie Django. And essentially, this picture represents what the prophets of the Lord are doing to Esau, the so-called white man, through the spirit, which is we are killing the beloved master of two thirds of our people and uh, us being out there on the highways and byways. Um, it really stirs up their spirit. And um, there's an example I'm going to show you, brothers, here in a second of an old bottle. Uh, coming up and just being completely belligerent and delusional and really just had all types of demons on him. And um, as you'll see, this image just represents what this guy came up, the spirit that he came up with or in. Um, and and it, it was hilarious to me uh, because it shows you how protective our people are of this society and uh, that they would rather believe a lie. They would rather continue to live in a state of uh, confusion than to hear the truth. And uh, we know, according to prophecy, um, that two thirds of our people are going to be like that. Um, but the way all of this just occurred uh, was just so strange because um, we weren't talking to him. Uh, actually, he was behind us, you know, on the other side of the street. And um, yeah, man, he, he was just completely convicted. Um, and, and his whole argument, or at least what he was trying to convey, was uh, about the 12 tribes being black. And what you're going to see is a highly hyper sensitive, emotional person that all he really had to do was be quiet for a couple of minutes and he would have received the edification uh, necessary to come to an understanding that the 12 tribes are, as scripture says in the book of Jeremiah, as a speckled bird, okay? Meaning it's variations, okay, of colors. Now, of course, the, pr the primary colors are brown, shades of brown, dark brown, but they're also confusion of faces, but they're not all quote unquote black as he alluded to. So anyway, I'm going to uh, just play a couple of segments of these videos, bring out some scriptures and uh, Lord willing, it'll be edifying for the elect, man. Look at Jay, bro. Horrible. OK, so uh, this is the live stream we did um, this past weekend out on the highways and byways. And um, the timestamp is uh one hour, 37 minutes and 48 seconds. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I'm not going to play all of the video. I'm just going to play uh, segments of it. But he uh, he was out there scoffing for almost a whole hour. And so what you're going to see is, I believe in the background here, he's going to walk up on the side and his whole argument is going to be about the 12 tribes. But uh, before we actually get into that video, let's uh, let's bring out a quick scripture. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter two, verse 14. It says, is Israel a servant? Is he a home born slave? Why is he spoiled? OK, because that's how our people act. Our people want to be this image. OK, they, they, they want to perceive this scenario for the rest of their lives. OK, they don't want <clears throat> Salakia. They don't want to assume. OK, this uh, this stately you know, this this majestic position that the Lord has predestined us for. OK, they would rather be a slave and, and we are leaving that state okay, of being a slave. We're leaving that mentally, physically, spiritually, the whole nine. Uh, but for these old bottles, man, this is all they got. So let's play some of this video. It's all about faith. So, yeah, that's beautiful, brother. You grab that song. 
songs, 107. You start to hear him in the background. <laughs> now he says, y'all teaching lies. Now, like I said, um, we have been out there for an hour and a half just edifying our people. Okay? We wouldn't even turn in, in that direction or anything. But it goes to show you how this image represents so much. Because the words of Yahweh Shimei Awasha are killing Edomites. Now, of course, you know, Leonardo DiCaprio is an Israelite, but just for the imagery, okay, of a so called white man, it's killing them. And Jake can't stand it. Fools because of their transgression and because of their iniquities are afflicted. Fools because of their transgression and because of their iniquity are afflicted. And this is why we were all, as a nation, brought into captivity to be placed in slavery under you Edomites, you so-called white people. Remember how y'all had us in slavery? So, so here he is right here, man. Okay. <laughs> right here, all right. And he's going to walk across the street and he's going to get all up in the, in the video and all the rest of that kind of stuff, man. So stay tuned. How y'all beat and whipped us. Right. You remember that? This is your history book. See? Hella proud, erect, you know, stiff neck, sodish. Let's bring this out. This is Second Peter. Three and three. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lusts and saying where is the promise of his coming for since the fathers fell asleep all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation and and that's what jake is used to jake is used to being a slave okay and he doesn't want us to assume the position of esau being the head and not the tail Jake doesn't understand how to be the head anymore because our people have been the tail for so long. So now instead of aligning, aligning with the prophets of the Lord, you're going to scoff, you know, and walk after your own lust, your own carnal mind to believe that all the 12 tri tribes of Yahweh by Shem Shai are black. Okay. When black in itself is just a color. All right. But, you know, we, we we were not able to even get any of those points that I'm making right now across to him because he's a scoffer. And I want to get that word here, scoffer, real quick, just just because, um, you know, that's what we do. You know, uh oh, is that the wrong verse? Slop. Yep. OK. Second Peter three. Yeah, here we go. Strong's G seventeen oh three. And pike taste. And pike taste. Mm. A derider. It says a mocker, a scoffer, a derider. Okay. Meaning to derail or to uh, to change the course. Let's get back. It says by implication, a false teacher, a mocker or a scoffer. Okay. Let's look up this word here, deride. It says to speak of or treat with contempt, mockery or ridicule, scoff or jeer at. Okay, and that's exactly what this dude is doing. So, so we'll play a little bit more of this and, and bring out some more scriptures. You're trying to erase it, but it still, it still stays. Your, your track record still speaks. You know, remember how you lynched off our ancestors? How you drawn and quartered us? And and here's here's the thing. Like we were going in on Esau. You know, like I said, this this picture speaks volumes. Okay, because this is two thirds of our people. Okay. And they see what's about to happen or what is happening. You know, essentially Esau has, we're, we're giving Esau cancer, you know, slowly but surely it's taken all over um, uh, um, Esau's system, you know, revealing him for, for being the devil that he is. But our people, you know, <laughs> our people just want to come up against us. When we weren't even directing any of the teaching in which we were doing towards Jake. But Jake about to get in the line of fire and he's gonna get shot. What you coming over here for? I researched all what you come over here for. Oh, oh, well, if it's lies, where you come oh, over here? Well, hey, 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 h
he used to come and listen. So this was my first time really seeing this guy. But that's the spirit, man. You know, he he already came, you know, at a, a certain time before and accepted the word, you know. But now, as scripture says, man, he's like uh, a dog returned to his own vomit, man. You know, he's throwing it up, but he's going right back to his own folly. Let's play a little bit more. <laughs> I got it, I got it. Okay, hey, so, so, so let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Hey, what is the name of the Lord? 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 Answer the question. What is the name? And this idiot wants to get our phone number, but don't want to just answer the question. Let's, let's, hey, let's start at the top, man. You know, hey, we'll get to the 12 tries. Let's start at the top. What do you know? So, so once again, you, you hear the elder talking about how they uh, do used to come up and listen. Now, now he's turned into a scoffer, man. You know, a derider. Okay, walking after his own lust. It's insane too. So I'm gonna jump to uh, I'm gonna jump to further down here in the video, because <laughs> like I said, he was out there for almost an hour. Um, yeah, let's let's start about here, and uh, let's bring this out. Uh, this is Jude. Um, same thing, quoting uh, Peter. Okay, uh, well, not directly, but you know, uh, just in the same uh, fashion. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, let's start up. Hold up. This is Jude 1 and 15. It says, <clears throat> so like it. This is Jude 1 and 15. It says, to execute judgment upon all and to conceive all that are ungodly among, among them of all their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed and of all their hard speeches, which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. These are murmurers, complainers, walking after their own lust and their mouth speak great swelling words, having men's persons in admiration because of advantage. But beloved, remember ye the words which were spoken before of the apostles of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. How that they told you there should be mockers in the last time who should walk after their own ungodly lust. And, that, and, that, and that's exactly what's going on here in this scenario in which I'm about to play. But I want to bring out uh, that word here, uh, mockers, because we brought out the word. Mm, it's the same word. Yep. Let's play it. Strong's G, 1703, and Pike Tace. And Pike Tace. A false teacher. Okay. That's exactly what Jake is, man. He ain't got it. And um, I'm actually going to show another video uh, because the elder Tazapaya did uh, another video, which uh, basically he broke down very peaceably how in conversation it's not hell with emotion, but if Jake come up here with all this damn emotion and shit, no one can really uh, get a, a point across. So let's play a little bit more of this. You brothers know, but for those of you who may not know, Israel is not defined by color. Right. Brothers just read the scripture. Israel is defined by their spirit. Their faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh And the scripture in which I had read was uh, in the book of Jeremiah talking about how um, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai's people is a uh, a speckled bird, you know? So, anyway. Because we say it out here all the time, man. If you got the ears to hear this word and believe, I don't care where you at or what you look like. And, and you, you'll hear him in the back. Everything that we're edifying, you know, the camera, he could have received all of that information. But he's a scoffer. He's a mocker, okay? And a home-born slave. He's a slave, okay? This, this is what slaves do. They, their uh, affinity, their uh, devotion is towards their master Esau. They, they could never see us as as being rulers. 
Oh, it's tell me, God gave you the gift. Oh, he you gave you the spirit to believe. I got my Bible. I got and my he's not going to get a spirit to us. I believe in Yahshua. So, <laughs> all right, that's what he's saying. Another God. You believe in another God, another Jesus. That's why we uh -huh. asked you the name. Right, right. so he's keep coming. Okay. Uh, it's, it's, it's all good. It's all good. Uh -huh. hey, hey, it's just not meant for you, bro. Right. Right. It's just not meant for you. Right. You know what I'm saying? See, and it's like God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. made all four hands strong against their four hands. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. No, we're not. And and it's crazy because. He says the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which which we agree, okay? But he has a name. He has a proper name. But not only that, he has a truth, okay? So so you can't enter into the house of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai without having that name, okay? The name is the entrance into that house. You can say, yes, that is that is where the God of Abraham and Isaac and, and Jacob lives, okay? How do you get in? You get in through the name, okay? The name is the entrance to that wealth of abundant knowledge, wisdom, and understanding in which is in that house, okay? Which is the reason why here in Jude, which I had read, okay? It it talked about, uh, be, but beloved, okay? That beloved is talking about the house of David only, all right? So, um, yeah, let's play a little bit more and then I'm gonna make a, another quick point. to convert him and at the same time, you gotta convert us. Right. We're gonna, we gonna stand strong on what we believe. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna play that back real quick because Elder made a point in which I'm gonna transition into um, the other video in which he did. In order to receive knowledge, you gotta shut the hell up, okay? You just can't be out there rambling and bambling just because you're emotional, man. You know, you gotta be civil, especially men, okay? Like women are supposed to be like that, highly emotional, hyper, hypersensitive to anything. Men shouldn't be like that at all. But that's another attribute that Esau pushes that our people fall into. Another way with philosophy, you know, being hyper emotional. But anyway, I'm gonna let the uh, elder uh, speak his point, and then I'm gonna bring out uh, another part of the video. You brothers know, but for those of you who may not know, Israel is not defined by color. Right. Brother just read the scripture. Israel are defined by their spirit, their faith in Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shah. Because we say it out here all the time, man. If you got the ears to hear this word and believe, I don't care where you at or what you look like, you are here for Israel. Oh, Heavenly Father gave you the ears to hear. He gave you the spirit to believe. And he's not going to give a spirit to us. I believe in Yahshua. So, all right, that's what he's saying, another God. You believe in another God, another Jesus. That's why we asked you the name. Right, so he's exactly so so let's play this segment <clears throat> real quick this is from the uh the elder uh Taz Paz page okay if you brothers haven't watched this video this is a very highly spiritual vi uh video and uh, he makes a point here in which I had even brought out um in this video roughly paraphrasing it um but it was so sharp that I just want to bring it out just for the sake of discourse okay and when you're having discourse both people cannot be speaking both people can't be emotional okay and men should always deal from the perspective of wisdom okay so i'm gonna play uh this is only a couple of seconds and then we'll get back to the uh main point of the video it's back by gold. They, they're trying to distance themselves from america's fiat in this uh federal reserve dollar yep. yep they're trying to distance themselves from that because of all the debt attached to it and so that that's so you see he's listening that's, that's a part of that world war so i didn't agree with and by him listening, he's drawing understanding, which, like I said, a lot of these things that we're bringing up, he already understands. And that's the thing. When you come from a, a perspective, and I may have said this earlier, but i, I got to reiterate this if I did. And when you come from a perspective of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, you, you behave yourself in a different manner. But when you don't know shit and all you have is your emotions, then you're going to be yelling like a child. Love, 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 love. Because you really, you, you have no no foundation to stand on. You know, but when you come from a position to where, you know, you, I mean, you, you, basically, you, you got some understanding. You've been, you've been, you've been researching, you've been studying. Well, then you can have, even if you don't agree, 
you can have a structured debate or uh, disagreement, and it still can be edification taken from it. You know? Exactly. You know, even if you disagree, as long as you're dealing with wisdom, then what you're going to see is, okay, well, I don't agree with you, but we don't have to continue to be uh, evil towards one another, you know? Because that's, that's what Jake wants, man. Jake, Jake, <laughs> Jake wants to be like this every day towards our own people, okay? Not towards our enemy, okay? But towards us. Highly emotional. Let's finish this. Well, again, the the, uh, the debate or the, the uh, discussion is structured. You see, he listens and then he might he might make a point or a counterpoint, and then you know we go back and forth so that uh, arbitrary third party that might come in and listen, they can weigh both sides and come to their own conclusion. Of, of exactly, they can come to their own conclusion. But while you know he's yelling. And we're trying to teach. People are just going to look at it as entertainment. They're not going to receive any value from it. So let's bring out this next scripture. This is uh, Proverbs 13 and 1. It says, A wise son heareth his father's instruction. What we're reading is the instruction of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. Okay? But our people are not going to listen to it, man, because our people are stiff-necked. All right? Let's, uh, let's jump up here a little bit. Yeah, this, uh, what's that? 52 that that'll work um it says a wise son heareth his father's instruction but a scorner heareth not rebuke okay our, our people are not going to hear correction all right let me see what this word here for scorner is strong's h 3887 lutes lutes it says to scorn Make mouths at, talk arrogantly, boast, scorn, mock, deride. Once again, that word deride comes back into play, okay? To speak of or treat with contempt, mockery, or ridicule, all right? Um, oh, it's a lot. It says, um, <laughs> to be inflated, <laughs> scoff, act as a scorner, show oneself a mocker, Okay? Yeah, so I mean that that's exactly what our people do now. They don't they don't have wisdom. They just have emotion. And that emotion was just like what the elder was talking about. Love, love, love. Because if you brothers go back and watch this video, the uh the week before, you know, we had a, a banshee, you know, demon, nigga woman come up in that same type of manner in which this guy is uh coming up in, you know. But at least he's he's trying to deal with wisdom. But he's, uh, uh, Eve herself can't. So so yeah, let's let's play a little bit more. Like I said, there's only a couple more stops along this uh, lesson, and then uh, we'll, we'll wrap it on up. Portion of our people, they don't want to see the knowledge and wisdom. That's right here. Done. Jeremiah seven and twenty three. But this being commanded, I them saying, obey my voice, and I will be your God, and ye shall be my people. And walk ye in all the ways that I have commanded you, that ye may be wet, that it may be well unto you. Mm. Verse 24. But they hearken not. Mm. They don't listen. They don't listen. Stiff neck and hard head. The Lord or warned us about our own people. Yeah, how should I say it? I'm, I'm gonna send you a monkey scorpion. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, He's talking about Jack, man. You know? See, we can have a structured debate, but that ain't what he wants. Right. He wants to spew his madness uh -huh. and, 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 you know, get us to believe this bullshit. And nah, now, man, we out here to tell you the truth. of their evil heart. Oh, and counsel and imagination oh, of their evil heart. Go to Jeremiah. Uh, I mean, Jeremiah, Jeremiah 7. It said in the okay, word of God, okay, it said the devil It's coming up. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. You can, you can read 23. You can get Jeremiah 23. And then you can just read through a little bit of that sequence. Read that one again. This Jeremiah 7 and 24. But they hearken not, nor incline 
think they're here, but walk in the council and in the imagination of their evil heart. And went backward and not forward. See, that's going back. Hey, you used to come up and listen. You used to come up and listen. And you used to be down with this. And now he done went backward. He done went completely backward. He didn't even get back somersault. And went backward. Right. You got it, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just pick up one. Um, it says, verse 25, since the day that your fathers came forth out of the land of Egypt, unto this day, I have even sent unto you all my servants, the prophets, but daily rising up and sending them. Just like you see us. Right. Most high set us up out here. He's sending us unto you. Now, our people don't want to receive, you know. Well, why nigga ain't this passionate about the truth? Why? why nigga can't be this passionate for righteousness? You know, and then they don't get no balls until we come out. Oh hell no! Right. Then that's when they they got the courage to, to do all this. They, they can come from half court. Yeah. Coming from the half court line. Yeah. Space Jam. All right, Space Jam. Okay. Strange. Type yeah, of I mean, so so you can tell through the spirit, man. We're not phased by any of these things, man. You know, and we shouldn't be. Because we're we're walking in wisdom, you know we're, we we are aligned with the spirit of Yahweh by Shimei Amshai. So let's bring out a couple more scriptures, man. We'll we'll shut it down. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Hey, Jake, bro, Jake, man. You know, Jake cannot let go of Babylon, his his master. You know, this weak ass system, and FRNs and going to work and you know, going to church. Sickening. This is a uh, First Timothy chapter six, verse two. It says, "O Timothy," and we brought the scripture out. I don't know how it's by ways. O Timothy, <clears throat> keep that which is committed to thy trust, av avoiding profane outside the temple and vain babblings and oppositions of science falsely so called. Okay. Because that's what we're doing, man. If you believe the 12 tribes of black men, that's an opposition of science. Okay? That's profane. That's vain. All right? This is Matthew 9 and 17. It says, Neither do men put new wine into old bottles, else the bottles break, and the wine runneth out, and the bottles perish. But they put new wine into new bottles, and both are preserved. And that's the difference. Okay, the difference is Yahweh Shemi Shai is not dealing with old bottles. Okay. He's dealing with new bottles and new wine. And here's the thing, like, like we had said, all you really had to do was just be quiet, deal civilly, okay, and things would have been cool. So as you can tell, like I said, I'm just forwarding <laughs> through the video because he's doing the same thing all the way out throughout the video. But I just want to show this last last segment. Because uh, I had said in the video, um, you know, if the if the police were to come up, you know, he would be quiet, wouldn't say anything because that's that's who he views as a source of authority. Esau. OK, our people do not view us as a source of authority, but they will very soon. So let's start here. And uh, yeah, this is this is good enough. And then. Let's see what's what. This first Thessalonians is five and twenty-one. Uh, let me bring it back. We're gonna read bit. what we wrote, and taking with him seven other spirits, more wicked than himself, and they entered in and dwelt there in the last state to tell you of that man. Old bottle. It is worse than the first. That's right. So when you, you, when you hear his word and you accept it, right? No, the most high take the evil spirit off of evil spirit. Right? Because when you God, depart from the faith, you go back into evil. the world, or you can say, man, I don't believe that no more. Right, right. Then that, that, that same demon that you had come back, but not by itself. Man, he brings seven more demons. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So that, that's why I say the last thing that man is worse than when he was at first, right? Right, right. right. Okay. Now you got eight demons on you, man. Okay. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him, bro. Read your script. Here it is. Read your They said the tribe of Gan, of Gan, the one that took that over here. Read your script. Read your script. I'll stand over here patiently, bro. Deuteronomy 33, 
20. There it is. Tell you who to try. I ain't read it. All right? Hold on, hold on, bro. Hold on. 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 See? That's, that, that's an old bottle, okay, that the wine is running out of. Because it wasn't new wine. It was old wine. Oh, man, bro. Let's, let's bring this out. This is uh, Proverbs 26 and 11. As a dog returneth to his vomit, so a fool returneth to his folly, man. Because that's all they have, man. Just straight up foolishness. This is 1 Corinthians uh, 2 and 14. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of Yahweh, for they are foolishness unto him. See, we look like fools to the to the general public. We look like fools to our people. Okay? Because this is who they view as someone of authority and knowledge and wisdom. They don't they don't see us as being those men. Okay? So likewise, it said the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of Yahweh, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. And really, that's that's what we deal with. We deal with the spirit. And by us dealing with the spirit, and if uh, another person is dealing equitably with the spirit of Yahweh by then we then we can build from that point. But we can't build with someone who's naturally uh, or has a carnal uh, mind towards this truth. Okay. Um, let's bring this out. Oh, well, I'm gonna hold off on this one. Let's just play more of the video. Hey, hey, you gotta prove your point. The burden of proof is on you. Read it. But the burden of proof, yeah, I'm asking you to read it. So read it. No, 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 no. Read the I'm scripture saying, that can yes, be wild exactly. claims and accusations. You gotta back it up, man. Give me, and here's give me a uh, here's first Thessalonians 5 and 20. And here it is. Read it. Okay. Okay. Well, why internet? <laughs> what burden of proof is this? Well, this why first Thessalonians. That's crazy because, like I said, the worldwide internet, that was his justification of uh, the proof. You know, he, he quoted a scripture. Well, excuse me. He uh, he named the verse in a chapter of a scripture, didn't read it. And then when the elder was asking him to, to uh, break it down or, or to prove it or uh, provide the source, he said the source was the worldwide Internet, you know. And, and, and like I said, this image, man, whew, speaks volumes of the state of two thirds of our people. And it also speaks volumes of the state of America. Okay. But let's finish this. Uh, it's it's five and 21. We're going we to read what we Prove we all things on fast that which is good. Read again. Prove all things. You hear that? Prove all things. I gave you scripture. Prove all things. You didn't give us that. You're giving us a pig. I gave you You're giving us emotion. Why you what you're not giving us is spirit okay. and truth. You're giving us emotion and you're giving us rebellion. You are not giving us hey, You are not giving us spirit or truth. I gave you the whole thing. Is okay. Read it. Read it. What is it? What is it? The scripture is everything. Read it. The scripture is everything. Everything. See? Just to say prove all things. One more time. Bro, bro. Prove. It's 1 Thessalonians 5 and 21. Uh -huh. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. Hold fast. Let's go back what the brother just brought up. Hold fast to that which is good. That's eight demons come on your ass. Right. Prove all things, though. See? That's what he did not do. That's why he can't prove to us. He can't prove his point. That's why I called him out on this bullshit. I know you were full of bullshit. And you just, this is all we're doing is reading scripture. That's all we're doing is reading scripture. This Galatians 3 and 1. Oh foolish Galatians. Hey, look up foolish in that. Uh, oh foolish Galatians. Who have bewitched you? Or both. Uh, foolish have bewitched Are you threatening me? Yeah, look up. Yeah. It says that you should not obey the truth. Who have bewitched you? That you should not obey the truth. Uh oh, you're in trouble now. You're in trouble now. See? Uh huh. Yeah, you're in trouble now. See, see, he know we've been out here doing our work. See, see, now you got a problem. If you are offended by the preaching, mm. <laughs> oh, come on. What do you say? He's already threatening him, dog. He's already threatening him. Oh. Dog, come on, bro. Come on, bro. You blasphemy now, bro. Call us a lot. Come on, bro. And as you notice, <clears throat> this is what Jake is good at cooning. Because then people come up and they watch him coon, but they're not really paying attention to us. You know, see, because this is, this is Jake making us. Look like a spectacle. And, and even though the, the scripture said, you know, we were made a, a, a spectacle, you know, to the world. But in the state of being righteous, a righteous spectacle. Okay. Not a fool 
you know, walking after his own ungodly lust, you know. But, yeah, I mean, clearly you see the, this guy, you know, he's seeing us for years out here, and he comes to our defense. And, and we knew he would, but watch how Jake shapes up, okay? Gets quiet, don't say shit from this point forward. Look, Jake ready to pack it up. Oh well, you know, hey, Master here. Time to leave. Master said, let's go. I gotta go now. This is Isaiah 10 and 15. It says, Shall the axe boast itself against him that hewn it that heweth therewith? Right now, Jake is the axe. You know, or, or this demon, you know, two-third demon is is the axe. But Yahweh by Shimei Shai has hewn it, made it. Okay? Talking about the men of the Lord. You trying to boast yourself against Yahweh by Shimei Shai, the prophets of the Lord. Idiot. It says, or shall the saw magnify itself against him that shake it? Shaketh it. Bro, the, the the power that we are coming with, the men of the Lord, okay, is more powerful than the, the object itself. An axe, a saw. All of those were creations from the creator. So likewise, this doctrine that he's trying to come up here with, you know, this 12 tribes were all black. Bro, you're, you're boasting yourself against the maker of truth, okay, of wisdom, of knowledge, of understanding. And that's what our people really don't want to get, man. It says, as if the rod should shake itself against them that lifted it up. <laughs> or as or as if the staff should lift up itself as if it were no wood. You know? So all of these things have power behind them. Okay? But the axe in itself isn't powerful unless someone is actually using it. Okay? The saw in itself will not cut anything unless there's a power behind it. Likewise with the rod, okay? None of these things can move or or uh, have wheel, okay, without the power of the truth behind it. And that's really what we're saying, man. These false philosophies are not going to have any life, man. And and really, it's just pride, you know, from these demons. They, you know, they're, they're mocking. They're scoffing. They're, they're, they're trying to uh, discredit the prophets of the Lord. But, you know, hey. Uh, the scripture says, man, hey, the Lord's going to justify us, man. And, and, and that's exactly what's been happening almost every week. You know, when scoffers and stuff come up, hey, we, we still get justified through the spirit, man. So I'm going to play uh, maybe one more part of this and then, uh, and then I'm going to wrap up. <laughs> Jake is out of here, man. Church mouse now. Yeah, you let your mouth uh -huh. sign, sign check. No, we good. Oh, hey. oh, oh. Yeah, anyway, come on. We're going we to keep doing what we're doing. Oh, did you find I'm going to charm to bewitch. It says uh, to fascinate by false representations. Mm. So, yeah, hey, that's what I'm saying. Uh, turn by every wind of doctrine. No. You know? Because ultimately, that, that's what you're doing, man. You're becoming unwise in the eyes of learned men. Of, 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 of wise men, you know? That they have been predestined to do this will and work of Yahweh. All right, let's get that, man. This is what our people need. See, then this is what happens when you don't build a firm foundation on Yahweh. Now, I think I had said earlier at the beginning of this video. Um, I think I started one hour and 37 minutes. This guy's been out there for a hour scoffing with, with no wisdom, just emotion. You get tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine. Now read that, brother. This is Psalms 107, 17. That's right. 
fools because of their transgression and because of their iniquities are afflicted. Ooh. Because of their transgression and because of their iniquity are afflicted. Come on. Oh, well, might as well play the uh, next part. Verse 18. And their soul abhorred all manner of meat, and they draw near to the gates of death. Verse 19. Mm, it said, their soul abhorred all manners of meat, you know? Because we, we're given, you know, the meat of the Lord. But they don't, they don't care about that. And he's at the doorstep of the gates of death. You know, because he's lost. He, the most I showed him the way, and he rejected it. Mm. Go ahead. Then they cry unto, you, unto the Lord in their, ter in their trouble. So, 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 yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much it, man. Like I said, you know, you brothers can go back and watch this, you know, uh, in its entirety. You know, you can start at the middle. You can watch the whole live stream in itself because everything before that point was building up to having faith. You know, the ingredient in which is necessary to understand the, the 12 tribes, to understand the name of the Lord, you know, to understand um, the, the things we've been freely given. You know, we're given unto our people. You know, but our our people are in this homeborn state of of evil, this homeborn state of evil, and um, they just can't get out of it, man. You know, hey, hey the Lord has them in a you know trick bag, and uh, it's beautiful, man. So that's all I really uh, wanted to uh, talk about, you know, in uh, today's lesson. You know, Lord willing, your brothers will edify. You know, once again, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Harakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, teaching real well, and peace and salutation to the elect. Shalom.